Right, this will be the last video. On the end of my finger there, there's Borough Bridge Church right on the top there. The monument on the top, which I climbed last year and did a thorough video of. This is a return trip, having come from a different direction, having explored two other churches and King Alfred's monument and discovered new pathways. Here we have our lovely river parrot look. As it comes inland it does get a bit narrower and narrower look. See? And I'd forgotten where to join it but I'm glad I went on my instinct. I had to do a bit of road first from um, Barrow Bridge but I know how to avoid that really dangerous road now. Um, just go round the Alphany um, route and um, you don't have to go up that long stretch which looks like a motorway it's uh, like a, a, a Roman road dead straight and looks like people will go dead fast and down it um, so I'm glad I never did that So it's been a successful day. I did two. I did the wire. I, I went where I wanted to go. Actually, I achieved it. But it was very dodgy in the beginning. I when I went up the canal, uh, various people gave me various directions. In the end, I um, with local, with some local help and me own. The, instinct I found my way this is where we start to follow the river a bit now the river parrot trail now isn't that strange at the beginning of my week in Bridgewater I did some of the river parrot trail from Bridgewater towards Cummage I was in striking distance and I was chased by a herd of cows and that was along the River Parrot Trail now that's the first time I've seen a sign here and this is when the River Parrot is getting narrower and narrower getting caught up in something I don't know what it is Yeah, here we got the river parrot, getting more like a stream now. Um, more like a stream. And as I go further up, it gets more like a little canal. Till it uh, finally peters out, I suppose, somewhere. One day I'll do that, I might do. I might find out where it goes. I mean, I know it goes to Langport, and that's on my cards. That's part of my mission um, to do Langport. So uh, there's a chance of that. Hold on a minute. I've got to stop again. <laughs> These cord on the. Uh, I am warming up a bit now. Um, Tie that up a minute. I am warming up a bit. Um, now I'm out of the wind. It was very, very blowy, very, very cold. And I might need to take this coat off again in a minute. Well, it looks more overgrown than it did last year. So off we go. Very bumpy.
Now, I don't know if I'll be able to video for long because it's very bumpy. Um, and it's blowy. I face, I've been unfortunate. Everywhere I've gone today, I've had the wind against me. I've seen another cyclist whizzing by going the opposite way, but I always seem to catch the wind. Uh, here's an old building again. Strictly private keep out. I think I remember that from last year as well. Somebody's little dwelling once. Somebody once lived here by the river. Had a home here. I know I go so far along here I don't know if I stay on this now or if I have to go on the road again I've got a feeling I hit some villages well, I can't really remember to be quite honest I would have thought I could just stay on here now till I get back to the canal There's the river down there, look. I remember the last time I did it, it was sunny like this. Bluer sky and it wasn't windy. stop by this gate to get my breath back. I can see a chimney coming into view. I think there's still a little factory, or there was brick factories in Bridgewater area. But I've achieved my aim today. I've done two churches. And I actually managed to visit King Alfred's monument. Look at that little house there. Abandoned, part of the past now. Soon to be forgotten. Yet somebody lived, worked there, probably lived there for years. Over and out.